the first time I saw it sold, it was uh, fantastic. To, to know it's not from your family or your friends, uh, from somebody you don't know, is, is, is a great feeling. It's, it's very exciting and to, to get that first sale, uh, first 10 sales, but it's also quite scary because you don't know what the feedback's going to be. The feeling inside when you start to see the book sales going up and up, it's, it's kind of, uh, it's excitement. It's excitement apart from anything else. The first time I realised I could probably call myself an author um, was when I started to see my book really rising up the, up the rankings and then, you know, when it hit number one on Amazon, it was just a jaw dropping moment and I, and I kind of turned to people and said, hey, maybe this is a viable, maybe this is a viable career. <laughs> yeah, I published my first book uh, on Kindle Direct Publishing uh, early in 2011. And come the summer of 2011, I'd, I'd also uploaded a second book, and that's when things started to really happen for me. Both books started to sell really well. Suddenly, I was faced with the idea that lots of people around the world were downloading and reading my books on their Kindles, and it was, it was quite a mind-blowing experience, really. But I think it's a fantastic feeling when you look on your Amazon machine and you see a sale. My God, someone's paid actual money to read something that I've written. I think it's the dream of every writer to to get their books into the hands of a reader in the first instance and for the reader to enjoy it. When you get your first book published and you see it out there, it's great to, to see it. It's like having your first baby and handing it over to people and hoping the feedback is positive and just having it out there in people's Kindles and, and seeing them read it. 